Hi guys, welcome to another video. Uh, going to look at some tricks in GarageBand. In the previous video, I talked about how to use smart piano, but in this one, I think we're going to actually look at how to use the piano like a real piano. So, we'll start off with grand piano. And uh, when you play like that, it doesn't sound very piano-like, but when you put the sustain pedal on, starts to sound a bit better. Now when I do that, every time I change the chords of the first two notes I'm playing to here, and when I move to these two, I'm pressing the sustain pedal. If I press the sustain pedal, just when I change the chord, it's like how you change the pedal on a real piano. For example, if I record it like this, You can hear it sounds really muddy, it just sounds like there's too many notes being played at the same time. So you don't want that overlap, so what you want to do is use the sustain pedal uh, when you change chords or when you change uh, notes that don't fit the same chord. So for example, here we go, I'll do it again, this time with some sustain, I'm going to press this button a few times while I'm recording, so you hear the difference. Now it doesn't sound very in time, so when you play it back some of the notes aren't quite in time, so what I'm going to do is go to track view double tap on here, go to settings, I'm going to quantize it to eighth notes, because when I'm playing, do 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 do, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, this is the speed that I played those notes, so I'm going to quantize it, which means all those notes will now be locked in, and they'll be perfectly in time with the metronome. Not bad, I've been pressing some notes harder than others, so it sounds a bit strange, but I'm going to add another piano part. So, let's go here again, add a new one, and here I'm going to use this, if you look just above the piano keys to the left, those numbers are going up and down, I'm pressing the keys there. So if I press that arrow, plus one, that means this octave now is now an octave higher. I'm going to put the sustain on again. That's quite nice, so let's just type something like that in. Here we go. So there's a chord that doesn't really fit over here somewhere. Let's just see what that sounds like. So that section there from bar five onwards. So I'm gonna do that bit again, but I don't wanna do the whole thing. So what I'm gonna do is go from bar five, go back to this track, and I'm gonna record from here.
don't like those last three notes. Do, do, do. So I'm just going to delete those. So I can do this. Edit. I'm going to see those last three notes. Let's just go from up here. And I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to just select those and delete. Boom, double tap and hold and things like that, very useful. So we go from here. So that'll do. Now I'm going to change the instruments because I don't want pianos all the time. So I'm going to look at this one. I'm going to change it to something else. Let's have a look. Whirly. Let's see what that sounds like. So I'm just going to listen to the whirly piano. See what it sounds like. I quite like it. I'll leave that. And we'll go back. Change this one. that for now I might change that a bit later on but keep that for now let's go back to here and add a new instrument and if you click at the bottom you can actually just add one there get rid of that it's in the way um, here look on this plus sign so I'm gonna click and add let's get some drums in there Got a beat sequencer and start adding <laughs> With drums you could be like doing this and it, it just gets too much so you want to just kind of try to keep the drums as simple as you can um, otherwise it you know less is more sometimes and like I said before I can record these drums <clears throat> in real time so this is my basic structure and I'm gonna add and take away from these as I'm going along so you'll see what I mean pretty simple um, instead of using smart piano I've just typed things in and then you can add more instruments as you go along so go back to I've got three instruments at the moment maybe I want just some long sustained notes in the background so again I'm going to go to keyboard and try some different instruments and also pads pads are nice pads are like big thick waves of sound let's see what this sounds like And let's just change this scale to make it a bit easier. Let's just go major. I don't quite like that one though, so I'm going to try something else. Let's try, you know, Galactic Starfield. No! Vocals. Girls Choir. Not very nice. Let's try this one. Hmm. I 
see what happens. So I realised the octave was too low, so I'm going to undo that. And I'll try it again. So there's what I just played. Can't really hear it in the mix very well. So I might try changing the sound of that. And then you can start to build it a little bit like we did before. So we can add some sections, add another section, add another section, show all sections, fine. And then how do we want to start it? I don't know. Let's move this over here. We don't want to start the drums at the beginning. Oh, well, do we? I don't know. This has now got two sections, so this might cause us some problems. But we can always flip these round and mess around with them. So we're just going to start like this. Now a bit of fun we can do now is press FX and we can add some, some we can play around with some of these features at the bottom. So let's put a filter on at the beginning. So I'll start low down, down here. So I want to continue that over, copy, put it here, oops, low battery yet, yeah. always the case, let's see. Paste this here. Make sure you always paste them in the right place, otherwise you really mess yourself up. And yeah, so there's my song, guys. A bit sleepy tonight. Cool. You can just do this copy. It's very user friendly for you guys, not a problem at all. And then at the end, we get everything together. <laughs> A 
enjoy playing around and quantizing and using the on-screen keyboard and that kind of thing. Um, hours of fun for those people who are interested. Um, and try to think about how you can tie this in with your uh, exhibition compositions. Uh, what kind of mood do you want to create? Things like that. Uh, any questions, feel free to um, drop me an email, send me a message on CISO, and I'll try to um, get back to you as soon as possible. Oh, I want to stop this video. So